I have a question for my fellow Canadians, and not just any Canadians, the ultra-patriot Canadians. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about. When I'm out and about living my life, and I see yellow ribbons, and they, sometimes they say some pretty strange things like, if you don't stand behind the troops, you're free to stand in front of them. I have a question about that. What does that mean? If I don't stand behind them, I'm free to stand in front of them. Because I don't support them. I don't support the troops. I don't support my nation's soldiers because I don't agree with what they're doing. I don't buy into this logic that if I don't like what they're doing, but I defend them for doing it, I, they still have my support. I don't get that, that mentality. I know why it exists. I just don't get why people fall for it. I mean, it exists to stifle anti-war dissent. Remember, if you're against the war, that means you hate the troops and you support the Taliban, of course. But I don't support what they're doing. And if I don't, rather than saying it's wrong and they're wrong for following through on an imperialist occupation, I should just say I'm against the war, but I support the troops. Which is a nice way of saying I'm against the war, but, you know, I won't actually do anything. I won't say anything bad about it and I won't criticize it. And quite frankly, freedom of speech, one of my favorite rights. And I'm not losing it because some ultra-patriot can't handle it. Because some ultra-patriot would rather bow down to the government than think for themselves or have their own opinion. If you really support the murder and occupation of Afghanistan, you know, feel free to go do it yourself. But you won't because we have a mercenary army of the poor to do it for us. Now, it's true it's not like in the United States. We don't take every single person that comes along. It's actually actually quite difficult to get into the Canadian Armed Forces. But that doesn't change the fact that the, the vast majority of soldiers are from a lower income bracket, a lower social status. I mean, that's not surprising. That's when there was a draft. And now that it's volunteer, it's, nothing's changed. That remains the same. But the lower class is still the one who does it. But I'm getting off topic here. Telling me I have to stand by the troops is, well, wrong. If I don't want to stand behind them because I don't agree with what they're doing, I'm right in not standing behind them. And besides, what is this expression supposed to mean anyway? If you don't stand, if you're unwilling to stand behind the troops, you can stand in front of them. I'm assuming that's some kind of a threat to gun me down which I find very strange considering that's the majority criticism of the war in Afghanistan. The fact that civilians are getting gunned down, civilians are being murdered. And then the same is threatened against me if I don't agree with them. You know, sometimes the term military intelligence really is an oxymoron. <laughs>